Hello agents, in today's video I have a new speedrun build to show you that I've used for the recent Belfry League and doing Manning National Zoo in less than 18 minutes. I'll show you some gameplay with this build and then the build in full and if you do like the video please be sure to hit like and subscribe for more content from me that includes that full Manning National Zoo run tomorrow. So first is the gameplay so you can see this build in action and if at any point you want to skip straight to the build there is a timestamp below in the video description. Oh. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, I'm not Okay, they're probably oh, coming right to you. We'll give them a nice warm welcome. Very 
the top of the right side. You have to see him. He's on him, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, nice. He's in stealth. That's on this side. That's fine. That's fine. Now for the build, but first I do need to give CDZ Nuts a shout for bringing this build to me. I added my own little adjustment which we'll cover, but thank you to Nuts, this build was super fun to use. So the primary you want to use on this build is an SMG. I don't like the Lady Death myself because of how low the mag size is, and I didn't fancy using the backfire because of the bleed. So the best I had in my stash was this Org that had 14.8 SMG damage, max crit chance and max reload speed. I would have preferred damage to target out of cover instead of the reload speed for sure but I was able to roll on in sync on this which is what I wanted and with in sync I'm getting 15% skill damage when shooting enemies and 15% weapon damage when I use a skill or my skill is damaging enemies. When both of these procs are active they are double to 30%. The secondary I have is the mop. This has shotgun damage, damage to armor and armor on kill and then I roll preservation on it where killing an enemy repairs 10% armor over 5 seconds and headshots improve this with an additional 10%. And my sidearm doesn't really matter at all but I have the TDI card custom. Moving on to the gear pieces and I use 4 pieces of Hunter's Fury. Having 2 of these gives me 15% shotgun damage and SMG damage. 3 pieces give me 20% armor on kill and 100% health on kill. And then 4 pieces give me the talent Apex Predator where enemies within 15 meters receive a debuff amplifying your weapon damage against them by 20%. Killing a debuffed enemy with your weapon disorients other enemies within 5 meters and amplifies weapon damage by 5% for 10 seconds stacking up to 5 times. With the mask I have weapon damage, crit hit damage and a crit hit damage mod on it. The holster has weapon damage and crit damage. The knees have armor rolled with crit damage and the gloves also have armor rolled with crit damage. The backpack uses the Memento backpack which comes with weapon damage, armor and a skill tier. I have a crit damage mod on it as well and a talent kill confirmed. Where enemies you kill drop a trophy on death and collecting these trophies provides both a short and long term buff. The first of which scales with the number of core attributes equipped and lasts 10 seconds. Depending on the core attributes you can get 5% weapon damage, 10% bonus armor and 5% skill efficiency. For every trophy collected you also gain an additional 1% weapon damage, 1% skill efficiency and 0.1% armor regen for 300 seconds with a max stack of 30. And then the final piece is my Sokolov chest piece that has weapon damage, crit damage and crit chance on it. This is where I differed from CDZ nuts as I only had this piece in my stash and obliterate was advised but I had glass cannon and I have to say it worked great. With glass cannon my damage was amplified by 25% at the cost of 50% extra income and damage but the build has so much survivability it was really easy to use and face tank as you saw in the gameplay. The skills I'm using are the Striker Drone and Revive Hive and then the specialization is a Technician because I get 10% skill damage from it and an extra skill tier. This puts my Striker Drone at skill tier 2 and this damage only goes up with how the build works. With In Sync alone it gets up to 70% Striker damage and then with the Memento buffs on top of that it goes even higher. But one of the main purposes of this is how good it is as a distraction to enemies. And to end the video my stats look like this, I have 52% crit hit chance and 139.9% crit hit damage. And if you did enjoy the video please be sure to hit like and as I said tomorrow I will be posting our Manning National Zoo speedrun in full so you can see how we did that in less than 18 minutes so be sure to subscribe if you also want to see that. Thank you all so much for watching this video, please let me know what you think of the build in the comments and until tomorrow's video, peace out.